Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about human genetics. So this human genetics, which is the part of medical biotechnology. The first thing, human heredity. So human heredity is the basic information about the human genetics. So heredity, which is the information which is passing from one generation to the another generation through offspring, human chromosomes. So the complete structure of chromosomes can be easily obtained in karyotyping method. So this diagram, which clearly indicates us the, how the chromosomes, which is arranged within the human cells. And here you can able to see that 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. So regarding the chromosomes number, the 46 chromosome in that which will be considered as the 23 pairs and from this 23 pairs, which is utilized to identify particular organism. So egg and sperm, which are haploid in nature, so rest of the chromosomes will be in uh, of maybe the, the half of amount of chromosome that is the 23 pairs. Those cells are called sex cells and female which have the chromosomes XX and male will have XY. And also here we have the all of the cells have 46 chromosome in them. They are deployed in nature. So those cells will be calling it as the autosomes, whereas the six chromosomes, which is calling it as the uh, haploid in nature, and all egg cells, uh, which carry single X chromosomes, and half of all sperm cells, which carries an X, and half uh, carries other half carries, which carries Y chromosomes, and this ensured that. Uh, just about half of the zygote will be the 46 double X and the other half will be the 46 XY. Okay, so based on this, if the uh, offspring or the zygote, which is, is which is in 46 X chromosomes, X, X chromosome, that will be considered as the female and whereas the uh, 46 XY chromosome, that will be considered as the uh, male uh, zygote or the offspring. So here we have the human traits. So what do you mean by human traits? The human traits are the characteristics which can be uh, expressed by the offspring or any type of organisms and throughout its generations. So the informations are the characteristics which can be easily inherited from the parents and through the parents to the offspring which is easily passed. Human genes are inherited according to the same principle that is the mental discovered. So mental, John Krieger Mendel. So is the one of the scientists, not only one of the scientists, he is the father of genetics. And he discovered a lot of information about the genes, how it is expressed, um, expressed phenotypically, so and also its genotypic nature. So genotype and phenotype, the, those terms and those details can be easily obtained through mental studies. And there are a lot of laws uh, proposed by the mentals. And there are three major laws, a law of independent assortment, law of segregation, and law of dominance. So these three laws, which has significant roles in true genetics. And also he conducted a lot of experiments for its expressions. And uh, he chose seven characteristic studies. And through that, he revealed a lot of genetic related information uh, through his analysis. And also the pedigree chart, which reveals the relationship within the family, how the relationship within the family. So here you can able to see that the uh, male and female, the male will be the square box and female will be the um, round, uh, okay, round color. Round. And through this, there are a lot of interaction and fertilizations happening between these two. And once it is happened, um, 
the various uh, males and females uh, through offspring can be easily applied. And also here we have a genetic counselor. So the genetic counselor who has a lot of roles in pedigree charts and to infer genotypes of family members. So he can easily analyze the pedigree chart. So the earlier slides, what we have seen it. So that can be easily analyzed by this genetic counselor and he will reveal the future upcoming offspring, how they will be. Uh, can be it can be genotypes and also can be um, phenotypes phenotypes nature and if there is a, any uh, mutations or struggles or the any changes uh, you can expect uh, uh, through this through this interactions or these zygote formations so all this information can be easily uh, provided by this genetic counselor and he will suggest us uh, whether we can go for the uh, baby or uh, abortion, if there is a, any problem with the um, um, pregnancy women. The, uh, okay. Many types by and exercise. It's, as I said, like it, the human, inside the characteristics, he is influenced many factors. We have talked about the, how the chromosome uh, has uh, an offspring. So the one to this uh, is that particular thing different changes are the one um, and the factors will uh, come to influence the trial. So that is under uh, us. And uh, the characteristics like skin color, or hair, or hair uh, length, or the color of which are there, or maybe uh, the there are a lot of characteristics, uh, phenotype characteristics uh, can be easily uh, influenced by all these non-genetic uh, factors. And also the genetic uh, genetic factors also have significant role. And still, uh, the non-genetic uh, factors can be able to create mutation or changes uh, in the offspring and through that the offspring the complete one. So here we human genes. And in human genome, there are a lot of genes, active genes are there. So these genes, which are responsible for all our functional roles, are the organs. Okay, so there are a lot of studies which indicates nearly like there are like 10,000 genes which is actively participating in genetic and also the characteristic uh, uh, outcome. And um, now the recent studies uh, which indicates around 90, 19,000 to 23,000 genes which is actively participating in the um, uh, different metabolic and uh, controlling of expressions of genes. And uh, so this 23,000 genes has significant role. So those genes are present in the human genome. And uh, the very first genes, which was uh, earlier uh, discovered one, uh, identified one is the uh, blood typing uh, genes. So as we like, uh, so each one will have a specific blood grouping. So like there are a lot of uh, blood grouping types are available. And uh, so this blood, uh, uh, human blood grouping are the genes which has a role to define particular human, uh, what is their um, particular blood type. Either it is A, B, or A, B, or O. And there is a factor which factors which determines either they are RH positive or RH negative. So this picture clearly indicates us the blood groups, the phenotypes, which is A, B, A, B, O, again, genotype, IA, and you can able to see that IA, for A phenotype, IA, and uh, there will be chances of having IO, okay. And uh, so that antigen is calling it as the A, and for that respective antigen, the opposite antibody, that is the anti antibody B will be produced. If you want to identify uh, phenotype A, that is the blood group A, and you need to have antibody B. So which will have interactions and through that you can confirm so that particular human being or uh, the person which is uh, blood group is A, type A. And similarly for B, A, B and O, so and respective antibodies they have provided in this list. So recessive alleles. So here we have many human genes have became known through uh, study of genetic disorders. And uh, so this uh, recessive alleles have a significant role. 
many human genes um, uh, uh, which can have a role in uh, causing a specific disorder. So those disorders can be single gene disorders or multiple gene disorders. And also, so disorders can be linked with the chromosomes, that is the X chromosomes or Y chromosomes are different patterns of the chromosomes. In most cases, the genetic disorders are usually recessive in nature. Okay, only a few cases which have the dominant nature. And uh, so here you can able to see the albinism. So the same uh, people, uh, the African, and still their, uh, their skin color, which is completely different, you can able to see that the person, uh, both persons, the one person is completely black in color, the other one, this is, which is completely white in color due to the uh, mutation which has happened in uh, skin genes. So this is the another important disease, uh, cystic fibrosis. So cystic fibrosis, which is uh, lung-related diseases. And so this disease, uh, which affects the person very severely. So this is one of the uh, single gene disorder. And dwarfism. So dwarfism is the another uh, disorder or uh, diseases, uh, which is caused by the uh, uh, chromosomes. Their, their, uh, their height will be very shorter. So that's why they call it the dwarfism uh, diseases. So this is the another one, sickle cell anemia. So sickle cell diseases. So you can able to see that how the cell which becomes like a sickle and uh, so that's why they call it as the uh, sickle cell, the blood. Um, blood cells, especially. And we have the dominant alleles. So in the early case, we have talked about the uh, recessive alleles. There is the disorders or diseases. And uh, here we have the uh, dominant alleles. Um, so not all the genetic disorders are caused by the recessive allele. And still there are uh, specific uh, diseases or disorders are caused by the dominant allele. Are uh, two types of, uh, two examples of the genetic disorder caused by autosomal dominant alleles that are the dwarfism and the Huntington diseases. So these two diseases, which is caused by specifically autosomal dominant alleles, not the recessive alleles, only the autosomal dominant alleles. For instance, the other diseases, uh, it can be um, recessive allele causing diseases. So here, yeah, this is the Huntington diseases. And in this Huntington diseases, the human brain uh, its shapes which started to change due to its uh, uh, the Huntington diseases, the the changes which is happening in the uh, genes uh, which completely started to open up the uh, human brain. So in the normal basal ganglia will be the very uh, smaller uh, gap, whereas the uh, Huntington diseases phase patient he would have very uh, larger gaps uh, in the brain. So you can able to see uh, see the difference uh, in both pictures. The first one will have very smaller gaps, whereas the second one will have the very uh, larger gap. Uh, and this is the another one, uh, co-dominant alleles. In co-dominant alleles, the sickle cell diseases, which is caused by the co-dominant alleles, not only a single allele, there are the other alleles, which has the role in the um, pattern. And here we have a gene to molecule. In both cystic fibrosis and sickle cell diseases, sickle cell anemia disease or sickle cell diseases, the small change in DNA of single gene affect the structure of protein, which could be very serious genetic disorder. So that's what the mutation, which has very uh, serious problem to the uh, human being or the particular individual. And cystic fibrosis is most common uh, among the people, uh, especially uh, Europeans and their ancestors. And here we have the people with uh, cystic fibrosis have serious digestive problem. In addition, they produce thick and heavy mucus that clogs their lungs and breathing passage. And through that, they, they are very difficult to breathe. And also uh, their lifespan will be very uh, shorter uh, or they, they have to take uh, continuous medication for very longer time. And also the sickle cell anemia disease, which is found in uh, African Americans, especially African Americans who have migrated to the America. 
and it is been and uh, twisted shapes of RBC. So this is completely sickle cell anemia, which is completely related to the blood cells. And the blood cells, uh, which is uh, rounded shape, which will become a sickle uh, shape. And through that, uh, this well, which is pausing through vessels, blood vessels, uh, the uh, different organs, there is a chance to uh, create some blockage. And uh, once it is created, uh, the complete uh, organs will get affected due to the uh, uh, insufficient blood supply. And as the result, blood stops moving through those vessels and damaging cells, specifically a cells, and also tissue and also organs. So if it's a, there is a problem in single cells, so which can lead to the uh, tissue uh, and also the organs. Uh, uh, if it is an organ is failure, and the complete part of the body will get failure, and uh, which will be very complicated for the uh, human being or the individuals. And sickle cell diseases uh, produce uh, physical weakness and damage to the brain, heart, and sp uh, spleen. So, so it, it, it can have any uh, specific diseases in different organs, not only a specific organ, it can, it can direct to any type of organs uh, from brain to heart and spleen. So these are the very crucial organs for um, individuals. So human chromosomes, again, uh, human genes and chromosomes. So like we have uh, chromosomes, uh, 23 paths of autosomes and uh, the chromosome 22, which contains 43 million DNA base pairs and chromosome 21 contains uh, 32 million. So million base pairs. So that is very huge in number, but still there are a lot of repetitive DNAs will be present. So those repetitive DNA, which doesn't have any roles or the functions in human body, and still, if there is a specific causes which can be happened in the uh, functional genes, so that can have biggest problem for the uh, particular individual. So that can lead to the any sickle cell anemia diseases or any type of um, uh, cystic fibrosis or hunting the diseases or albinism, any type of disorders can be created through this changes, any million base pair changes. And sex linked genes. So here we have many sex linked genes are found on X chromosomes and more than uh, 1000 sex linked genetic disorders are found on X alone. So there are two chromosomes, X and Y, six chromosomes, both are the six chromosomes and only for X chromosome, there are 100 diseases, sex link disorders can be found already. And males have just one X chromosome. Thus, all X linked alleles are expressed in the males, even if they are recessive or dominant, whatever, which will be expressed only in X, not in the Y. And some sex link disorders are colored blindness, homophilia, hemophilia, and uh, Dutchney muscular dystrophy. And uh, here, so the first one, color blindness. The most common disorder is the uh, red green color blindness, which is affecting one in 10 males in USA. And among females, color blindness is the one in 100. So the male, they 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 very susceptible to this particular color blindness due to its mutation, which is happening in the genes. So here you can able to see that uh, so this particular color, this is the uh, blue, and within that you have the uh, yellow color, so which clearly indicate appearing. Whereas this one, so it is very complicated to understand some persons who ever have the blindness, uh, color blindness, they can't be able to identify which color it is. So green and uh, pink color. So you have the 29 number within that. And similarly here, we have the 45 number within the green and uh, again there there is a 56 number within the green and you have a six and uh, here and next one is the eight and here you have eight and here you have 42 and next one is the hemophilia so in hemophilia so this two important genes carried out on x chromosomes which helps in blood clotting so there are around 13 blood clotting factors, which has the role to clot up, uh, clot up blood if, if you get any injured or wound. So if there is a mutation 
within this all this 13 uh, any any um, any clotting factor within this 13 factors so there will be chances of not clotting as easily in hemophilia the protein uh, protein necessary for normal blood clotting is missing so in this case there is a chances to have uh, one person within 10000 males uh, they, they, there could be chances of having the hemophilia diseases so this is the, one of the important disorders we should consider uh, in upcoming times so here you can able to see that how uh, the affection on the cells this is the another important um, uh, disorder caused by the um, sex linked chromosomes that is the Vishnin muscular dystrophy and this dystrophy uh, which is specifically uh, affects males uh, not only a males, the female also will get susceptible to these particular diseases and still uh, this particular disease which targets uh, males. And also if you get these diseases, the muscle cells will get weaker. So that is the biggest problem. So if you think, uh, you can think uh, the simple cells which will get interact with the, each other and which will become a layer of cells, that is the tissue layer. And once this tissue layer is formed and uh, which will be very larger and which try to build it up, build it as a particular organ. And once it is built it up and then you will have the particular organ. So this particular organ can have particular role. So if there is a problem in the cells itself, so the cells, if it doesn't get integrated with each other and the muscle will get weaker. If the muscle get weakened and the organ get, will get weakened and you can't have the normal movement, physical movement and also the functional roles of the organs. So these are the some very basic uh, problems will start to get if you have the Russian muscular dystrophy, the person if you get the, this kind of disorders. And here in USA, one out of the, um, uh, 3000 males, they are born with this particular Russian muscular dystrophy. So here you can able to see that how the um, legs which looks like. And here we have the uh, X chromosome inactivations. And females have two X chromosome, but males will have only one X chromosome. In females, one X chromosome is randomly switched off in few cases. And the other one will be switched on. Those only a specific X chromosomes will have lot of roles uh, in coordinating all these functions and chromosomal disorders. The most common error which will be happening in meiosis, uh, in meiosis divisions and that can be homologous chromosomes fails to separate this known as the non-distinction. If non-distinction occurs Abnormal number of chromosomes may find in the way to way into the gametes and disorder of chromosomes number may result. So, so the cell division, which has very significant role, especially the meiosis. And here we have uh, uh, if two copies of autosome chromosomes fail to separate during the meiosis, an individual may born with the copies of the chromosomes. Uh, three copies of the chromosome. This is known as the trisome. So the particular chromosome has to be separate during the uh, meiosis. If it is not separated, then there will be chances to have the uh, trisomy. Okay, not only trisomy and tetrasomy, we have different types of somy diseases and uh, that could cause very uh, severe uh, issue to the individuals. So here we have the uh, trisomy is the Down syndrome having an extra chromosome on chromosome number 21. So around one to 800 babies are born with the Down syndrome. So this is the tri trisomy syndrome. And uh, so the particular disease or uh, disorder name called Down syndrome. So here you can able to see that. And disorders also occur among the six chromosomes. Two types of those are the Turner syndrome and Klein-Filter syndromes. 
So the six linked uh, disorders, Klein syndrome, uh, Kleinfelter syndrome, and Turner syndrome. In Turner syndrome, there is a only one X, X chromosome. The female is sterile and uh, they, they can't be able to have a uh, fertile, fertile nature. And the six organs do not develop at puberty and which takes very larger time. And in males, uh, the Klein filter has an extra X chromosome. So here you can able to see that uh, the front baldness absent and poor bigger growth. So there won't be a uh, proper growth and uh, normal narrow shoulder and tendency to grow fewer just has and the, the picture which indicates and also there is a chance of growing the uh, breast development and also uh, public hair pattern which would be different and uh, wide hips and also small testicle size and long arms and legs. And there have been no reported cases of babies born with, without X chromosome indicating that the X chromosome contains genetics that are vital for survival and development. So without that, there is a no babies uh, born in the world. And human molecular genetics, human DNA analysis, uh, DNA fingerprinting, which is used by the molecular biology to identify the individuals. And the Human Genome Project is in an ongoing effort uh, to analyze the human sequence and also uh, human therapy, uh, that is the gene therapy, uh, which is very significant to it right now. So the techniques, the like uh, um, DNA fingerprinting are the blotting techniques, which is very significant to in molecular biology. So molecular biology in the sense, the genes are different um, techniques which can easily identify the disease uh, causing genes through that you can be able to uh, say so this person has particular disease and also human genome project which was initiated in 19, uh, uh, 1990 um, so in the time so it started and which is about 10 years of span of time and they completely uh, revealed uh, which gene which is causing a particular disease all this Again, they have reconducted the same experiment and they revealed a perfect data for human being. And uh, the gene therapy, so which is the, one of the very interesting area, if you see, uh, so which has uh, the, the gene itself, you can inject in the patient uh, through some vectors, variant vectors or non-variant vectors, and through that they can be able to uh, recover from that particular genetic disorders or the uh, mutation caused by the, uh, during even a birth itself. So those can be easily uh, recovered through this uh, gene therapy uh, treatment. And also it would be great to cure genetic disorders and uh, human cells can be manipulated to cure diseases. And there is another one like uh, CRISPR technology uh, currently uh, just going. And uh, the biological engineers, they are trying to do their best to uh, eradicate a lot of uh, genetic disorders. And still there are uh, new diseases which is coming in each year for threatening of the humankind. So here we have the uh, genetically altered foods. And uh, so this is the one of the another problem for the human being. So thank you so much for listening.